our lives for years. The Kubler Ross model posits that it's hard to say goodbye to someone whose body of work has enriched our lives for years. The Kubler Ross model posits that the first stage of grief is denial, a refusal to believe that our loved one has truly passed on from this life. In the case of many prominent public figures, this has resulted in certain conspiracy theories sprouting like weeds in an untended garden. Theories of varying veracity have been cooked up for all sorts of celebrities that we lost too soon, from Elvis Presley to Andy Kaufman. Even living celebs can get snagged by crackpot ideas. There are those, for example, who claim that Keanu Reeves is immortal, while others say that musicians such as Paul McCartney died at the peaks of their respective careers and were replaced with body doubles by their record labels. Of course, no list of celebrity death conspiracies would be complete without mentioning the death of beloved West Coast rapper Tupac Shakur. The established police narrative would have us believe that the man who made music about gang members killing each other was killed by a member of a rival gang. But some internet sleuths are just too observant and diligent to believe such a convenient excuse. Several outlandish conspiracy theories concerning Tupac's death have been popularized since 1996, but one particular claim involving communist revolutionaries and state-sanctioned doppelgangers definitely takes the cake. Rumors alleging that Tupac was still among the living sprang up right after his death, partly due to the fact that his body was swiftly cremated almost immediately after an autopsy was supposedly performed. Then, in December 2019, a man named Michael Nice published a video to YouTube in which he claimed to have faked his own death a year earlier and wanted to expose how Tupac had supposedly done the same. Claiming to have been Pac's bodyguard in the 90s, Nice said that he had to fake his own death because he was on the verge of releasing information that would prove that Tupac is still alive, and the shadowy figures behind the scenes were not happy about it in the slightest. Supposedly, an ambulance driver friend picked up Nice, who somehow momentarily stopped his pulse, a trick he had apparently learned as a child, and used a decoy corpse to fool the coroners. Of course, Nice eventually came back from the dead to reveal to the world that Fidel Castro had helped Tupac fake his death and flee to Cuba. Several of Nice's videos that purportedly contain proof of Tupac's survival have been posted to a YouTube channel called Aichini Studios. The Cuba theory is merely one of several absurd ideas that have been cooked up to try and explain the rapper's tragic death. One theory propagated by filmmaker Rick Boss holds that Machiavelli wasn't killed that day in Vegas and instead employed a lookalike so he could sneak off to New Mexico and live amongst the people of the Navajo tribe. Another theory was put forth by Tupac's infamous friend and producer Suge Knight, who was at the wheel of the car in which Tupac was shot. Knight has claimed that he heard Tupac laugh multiple times on the way to the hospital and that he never saw him lose consciousness in the immediate aftermath. He also told the media that Tupac had spoken to him about the idea of faking his own death while they were on vacation in Hawaii. We was in Maui, you know what I mean? And Pac, like, never been to Maui, Hawaii, like, just a vacation, you know what I'm saying? You get to talk about faking his own death. Suge Knight's son, Suge Jr., has his own theory of what happened to Pac. He has made public a video shot in Malaysia of a man that he claims was Tupac. Photos that he says are of Pac in the present day have been called into question because of the obvious likelihood that they were photoshopped. Naturally, Suge Jr. seems to believe that the Illuminati had something to do with Pac's disappearance and adamantly defends his position, a claim that even other Tupac truthers think